Hello everyone, my name is Nicole Diemer and I am with PAC 490 here in Machos, Colorado. And today we are going to be doing the rationale for the Lion's Den King of the Jungle requirement. For this rationale adventure, it is important that we, all animals in the jungle, must live side by side as citizens. And the question is, do we know what it means to be a good citizen? What does it mean to be a leader? And also, the parts of the flag ceremony that we carry out at all PAC meetings, the importance of the flag, parts of the flag, and then how to fold the flag the correct way. For this requirement, and for materials you'll need, you'll need a patch that identifies as the den leader to play I spy, but the leadership form. You will also need either to be in an area where there's a flag on a flagpole and a ceremony to conduct that. The second part is that you're going to need construction paper. So you will need red construction paper or tissue paper, white construction paper or tissue paper, and blue construction paper or tissue paper. And each lion cub and their adult partner can help make a flag mosaic of the United States of America flag. And last, to play the citizen game, you will need either two bowls to place the cards in, which are located in the adult leader handbook on page 44 through 47. And what you'll do with those is make sure that you cut everything out and then place them in the bowls and then you can carry on with that activity once we start our meeting. So for today, we'll play I Spy and you will go around and the purpose of this game is to have the Cub Scouts identify what it means to be a leader. So as a den leader, there's going to be a patch on your uniform, and if the Cub Scout finds this, they will sit down, and every lion cub will continue to do this until everyone's sitting down, and then the meeting can begin. As always, we start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand and rise if you are in your Cub Scout uniform and your den leader or adult partner is in their uniform. You will salute the flag. If you are not, you will put your hand over your heart to recite the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now scouts, let's repeat our scout oath. Please make the scout sign. On my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country, to obey the scout law, and to help other people at all times, to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. And now, the scout law. A scout is trustworthy. A scout is loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, clean, thrifty, brave, cheerful, and reverent. And for our motto is to always do our best. Now we will begin today with our first activity and you can do the first which is follow the leader or we could begin with another activity which is the citizen lion game or the flag um, mosaic. Whichever you feel will get your Cub Scouts most interested. I always like doing something that's going to keep them physically moving around. So maybe you wanna start with the first game, which is follow the leader. And you will play follow the leader with a den and everybody will have a turn. So it'll be one to two minutes, depending on the time, depending on how many cubs are in your den. And you all can follow the leader and do different things. Walk around and take long giant steps. Or you can take teeny tiny steps or you can walk backwards or do crab walks. Whatever you think will get your den and the Cub Scouts excited to follow the leader. Once everybody has a turn, then it'll be time to sit down and then begin the order of the business, asking any of the adult partners, parents, if they have any questions to let them know of upcoming PAC meetings, um, anything that's happening in regards to Pinewood Dirty Derby. I know that's coming up soon, so it may be different for your den, but keep that in mind. Any questions, any dues or fees that are um, responsible for turning in, this would be now the time to pause and ask those questions so that we could begin to move on to the next game. And that game is our Citizen Lion game. 
If you will go into your adult leader, Lion Den leader book, open to page 44 through 47, you will see these little cards that you can cut out and then place in each of these bowls. Or if you have cups or whatever is going to work best for you all and given everything that's happening with COVID and our restrictions following Zoom meetings protocol, perhaps if this is taking place as a Zoom meeting and you can't meet in person before this was to happen, maybe to let all parents know of materials they'll need to participate and make sure that they're ready to plan ahead and accordingly. So for the Citizen Lion game, you're going to play for no longer than 10 minutes. And the point of this is to go through the cards and you'll ask each Cub Scout and their adult partner to read the statement, the card out loud, and ask if this is a way that we can be a good citizen out there in the world, or if this is a characteristic that is not a good citizen and that we need to think about our behavior and figure out how we could change to follow what it means to be helpful, to follow what it means to be kind and courteous, all of these things that follow along with our scout oath and our scout law. So for example, there's a picture here that says throwing trash out of a window, out of a car window. So the person's driving and they just throw trash. You would ask, is this being a good citizen or not? And the reply would be no. And then you could ask them why, and maybe the Cub Scouts, the Lions could give you an example of something else that could be done. Um, instead of throwing it and you see trash on the ground, being a good citizen would be to pick up the trash and make sure to throw away. So we do a lot of community projects where we might do a highway cleanup. I know here in Montrose every once in a while we coordinate for in the spring, in the summer, depending on weather, where we go out and we all pick up um, a spot on the highway close to one of the elementary schools here and everybody cleans up the trash. That would be a perfect example of being a good citizen for this game. Another one is making too much noise and having a tantrum. That would all be examples of not being a good citizen. Now, for a good citizen, there is a card here and it says following the school rules. Would that be a good citizen or would that not be? Now you can use this time to play the citizen lion game with your den, with the Cub Scouts and their adult partners. After 10 minutes, please wrap up this activity so that we can begin the third activity, which is the flag mosaic, making our own American flag and talking about it. All right, Scouts. So for the third activity, after you've done some examples of what it means to be a good citizen and how we can be helpful in our community, please now take this time to get out your sheets of paper or tissue paper, whatever you decided to use. You will need one red construction paper, one white construction paper or tissue paper, and one blue construction paper or tissue paper. And what we are going to try to do is resemble the American flag. And you can turn to page 48 in your Den Leader Guide to help with this. The point of this game and this activity is to introduce to the scouts the importance of the flag, how we show respect for the flag, and it all ties into being a good citizen. And with our scout oath and our scout law, you will determine with your group each parts of the flag and ask the den leaders or adult partners or whoever else and the Cub Scouts what are the different parts of the flag. So you could look at this picture again on page 48 and ask each of the Cub Scouts what is on the American flag. And if some say stars, well then you could go further and say, well how many stars are there on the American flag? And if they can raise their hand, the answer would be 50. And you can explain to them that there are 50 stars on the American flag and each of those stands for each state. There are 50 states in the United States. Now, the red and white parts of our American flag, you'll see the stripes, you see red, and then you see white, and they alternate. And you may ask your den, the adult partners, and the Cub Scouts, what do these mean? What are the stripes? 
and you could explain to them that those used to be the original 13 colonies as we were founding the United States. And that's how it came to be our American flag. So what you're going to do is going to make sure that you need some scissors, some glue, and then you can help if you're going to do tissue paper, you'll have to be scrunching it enough to fill out a rectangle here that's blue and then you would put the 50 white stars and then or what you could do is you could just have a piece of paper like this and then start and then cut out part of the rectangle here and then you could glue it on and then have white pieces of tissue paper and you would need 50 so that it resembles the 50 states of the United States and then you would go back and you would count how many red stripes you need of the tissue paper or counting out the red stripes here on your construction piece of paper and then how many white stripes you would need. So for the red stripes, there's seven. And for the white stripes on the American flag, there's six. So seven plus six is 13. And that's how we came across with that. Once you have completed that, now would be a time for if you all want to take a picture, if it's okay with the other adult partners, making sure um, as a keepsake and something that the cats, Cub Scouts made, um, being a lion cub and kind of laying down this foundation of being excited about this and making their own American flag. And then they could go and take it and share it to mom or dad or other family members or even friends at school or teachers or grandparents or anyone and explain and then maybe you can make a scrapbook out of it. But I do want to go along with the American flag and kind of go over what is the appropriate way to hold the flag and then the appropriate way to fold it and then when um, at the end of this requirement you will need to plan accordingly if you can depending on if everybody is meeting um, virtually to maybe do a Zoom meeting where you would be a part of a We Below Dead meeting of doing the flag ceremony that happens or with a PAC meeting as long as you are practicing safe precautions following COVID. Um, if you are doing the PAC meeting, we always begin with a flag ceremony and have the Lion Cubs be a part of that. And then with that activity, please make sure that everyone makes their own thank you note to thank the Weeblos and taking time to explain to them after the ceremony what they're doing. There is a great guide on scattermom.org that you can look up um, a bunch of different resources and other activities following um, the importance of the flag, how to retire a flag. This one will cover how to hold a flag, which is very important. Another one shows you the stage directions of what it looks like when we do a flag ceremony for any PAC meeting, especially for the Wee Willows, and then for the Lions to kind of get an understanding of that. But to sum this up, I'm going to show you this. I printed this out from scoutermom.com, and it starts with the American flag in this format. And we begin this way. You will have two scouts should hold the flag by its corners. So you're going to hold it by the corners here. So here's a corner, here's a corner. And then it says the flag should be kept parallel to the ground about waist high. Never should the flag touch the ground, ever. That is part of proper flag etiquette. Next, if the flag is large or the scouts are small, you might need one more scout to keep the middle from touching the ground. So you may need, um, with the little ones, somebody, the adult partner or the den leader can be a part of this. But if you want to make sure that everybody has the corner and then we hold the center so it doesn't fall to the ground. Second, after that you will fold the flag in half so that the blue field is on the lower side. So you're going to fold it so that this part of the blue is going to be on the bottom side. Next, you will fold it in half again so that the blue field is on the outside on both the upper and lower sides. And it's showing it just like this. And I apologize for the print. This is the best that I could do for you all and I apologize. Now, it says make a triangular fold. Bring the striped corner of the folded edge 
to meet the open edge of the flag. So you're gonna take a corner here with this triangle and you're gonna fold it in. And then you will continue to make the triangular folds along the entire length of the flag. It helps to keep the flag tight while doing this. So you'll constantly fold it and make a triangle. And at the end, when the flag is completely folded, only a triangular blue field of stars should be visible. If a bit of the flag is not in the triangle, tuck it into the, the folds. So you'll tuck it into this. And that's how you fold the American flag. And this shows you step by step of the parts. And towards the end, you'll end up with this triangular fold. I hope that all was helpful. Like I said, there are some uh, great resources on scoutermom.org. You can also check um, with others, and maybe there's a veteran in your group or somebody in the pack who would be happy to assist with this type, and you all could ask. You would need to discuss as a den what would work best for you, how to contact that person, and then make sure you write a thank you note for being able to attend and have them visit and explain to you the importance of the flag, how to fold the flag, the flag ceremony, and how this all ties back into for our citizen lion game of being a good citizen and what that means. I know that sometimes things get crazy or we all get grumpy, but the importance of this is, is to try to do our best and to be helpful and kind, to help others, to follow rules at home and at school, and to know a little bit about and the importance of the American flag and why we have certain um, special ceremonies for it and how to be a good citizen. Now at the closing of this DEN meeting, I would like to thank you all for tuning in today via Zoom or wherever you're at and hope that everyone is doing well and staying healthy and safe. And at the closing, I would like to re-scout, recite the scout oath and the scout law together. So if everyone could stand and please make the scout sign. On my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country, to obey the scout law, to help other people at all times, to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. Scout law. A scout is trustworthy, friendly, loyal, helpful, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. And I hope you all understand a little bit more, especially after the citizen game, learning examples of what it means and why we have the scout law and help to understand and to help mom and dad out and all of our leaders and friends and I hope you all have a wonderful evening, rest of your week, and a weekend. Thank you all so very much.